speculation is growing over Princess Catherine's potential appearance at Wimbledon, one of her favorite events. As the tournament is about to start, organizers are hopeful that she will be well enough to attend. Since 2011, except for one year, the princess has made the annual journey from Kensington Palace to the south of the river to take her place in the famous wicker chairs of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club's Royal Box. Her presence at Wimbledon has become a much-anticipated highlight, symbolizing the royal family's support for British sports and culture. Debbie Jevons, chairman of the All England Club, has expressed hope that she will be able to make it this year. However, no one could have anticipated Princess Catherine's serious illness. An insider revealed that despite her health challenges, Kensington Palace has not ruled out the possibility of her presenting the trophies at Wimbledon as planned, as she continues to undergo cancer treatment. This echoes the sentiment from Palace sources last month, suggesting that her attendance at this iconic sporting event remains a possibility. Many remember that she missed a major rehearsal for Trooping the Color and instead sent a letter apologizing for her absence. Even at the rehearsal, the palace had not clarified whether she would be present for the event on Saturday. Royal followers were thrilled to see her return to public duties after nearly six months of cancer treatments when she marked her first public outing at Trooping the Color. Princess Catherine has always been a keen supporter of Wimbledon, and her presence there is almost a tradition in itself. If she were to miss it, it would undoubtedly raise questions and concerns about her current status and responsibilities. However, the royal family has numerous commitments and personal matters that could also influence her attendance. Whatever happens over the next two weeks, if the princess is feeling well enough to go, it will likely be a last-minute decision, similar to her attendance confirmation for Trooping the Color, which was announced less than 24 hours before the event. Despite the palace's efforts to maintain privacy, snippets of information about Catherine's recovery have surfaced, providing some insight into her condition. Sources have noted that Catherine is playing a waiting game, meticulously following doctor's orders and hoping future tests will show the chemotherapy has been effective. A positive update shared by British broadcaster and photographer Helena Shard claims that Catherine has turned a corner with her treatment. It has been a stressful and debilitating time for her, magnified by the world's attention. However, this uncertainty is outweighed by a feeling of gratitude. Catherine is aware that she is not the only person battling cancer and realizes that being open about her struggle can help others. An insider noted that the sense of solidarity and empathy is a core part of her public persona, and it's clear that she is using her platform to support and inspire others. Despite her bravery, Catherine has not committed to attending more events in the near future, acknowledging that she is learning to be patient. She expressed hope to attend a few engagements this summer, but she is also aware that her journey is far from over. She admitted that she is not out of the woods yet, reflecting on the ongoing nature of her battle. Whenever she does re-emerge, there is no doubt that the public will be ready to welcome her with open arms. Her display of strength proves that she will make a worthy queen one day. The insider says that she is a fighter for herself, her family, and her country. As the public continues to hope for positive news regarding Catherine's treatment, her resilience and dedication to her family and royal duties serve as a beacon of strength. The outpouring of support from fans worldwide underscores the profound impact she has had as the Princess of Wales.